It's Lexi Thompson, a couple of over early, but then a third at the fifth, par five. Yeah, all eyes on Lexi today after what happened last weekend. No putter required there. Limited attendance, very limited to a member. Last week at the Olympic Club, so was Jennifer Cupcho. This was her second shot at the fifth. There's a few reachable par fives out here at Lake Merced Golf Club. This is one of them. Players definitely taking advantage of the fifth hole today. And that one, so close to an albatross. NB Park for birdie at the sixth. This is such a quick putt here. From the right side of the green on six, that would be for her third birdie in a row. So fighting her way back after a tough start, she doubled the first and bogeyed the third. This was at the seventh. And how about that little shot right there? Oh. Almost knocking it in. So you talked about Envy Park and the great run she's on. Here she is at seven. This is a relatively short par four. A little bit down the hill there. Takes dead aim with the wedge. So just it's just as important to let your mind reset as it is to really prepare to play this week. Could she have another pitch in on a par five? And a second shot for NB Park. 166 yards, wind hurting from the left. That's that more like it. Really smooth looking swing. She swings every club exactly the same way with the same tempo. Holes located 20 paces on today. Ooh, beautiful shot. At this downhill par three, Michelle Wee West. We talked about how she's a member here at Lake Merced. It's tough to play at your home course. You might know it well, but I'd say that there's a little bit of added pressure on you to do well, knowing that it is your home course. As we go to 12. In B, on the tee. This plays downhill, about a club and a half. That's a seven iron on a very aggressive line. How about that, Morgan, to that tucked hole location, hugging that left hand side. And she's, what, 16th this year? And, oh, excuse me. No, she's right up there. She's number two, or number three in putts per green in regulation. One of those top three numbers. And she's uh, plummeted to third. Yeah. After she just uh, short-sided herself with a sand wedge on the last hole, I think she'd want to play this out to the right and draw it in. Yeah, that's what she's doing. And <laughs> was a beauty dropped in from the heavens take it back a little bit further that looked like a good stroke the same thing that Envy did we haven't seen a player from below this hole actually get one on the high side or even to the hole Second for Brooke Henderson at 11. On oh, a really sandy lie, Tom. Tee shot obviously went way right. That was well played. Sister Brittany went all the way up to the green just to check out the yardage there, make sure she got it right, and I'd say that was pretty right. I managed to <laughs> avoid it last week, but two weeks in a row was not going to happen. Do it. Oh, oh. no, she's still she's locked up. <laughs> this is going to be a par for Brooke, but that's pretty uh, It's pretty good after that tee shot, get away with a, a mistake. I still maintain, Tom, that one of the best designs I've seen for a golf course was the Rio Olympic course, the way he designed it for both men and women to play. Just spectacular. Oh, nice. Yeah. I think that's a thing, Karen. A great design is a great design. Doesn't matter who competes on it. Would really suit a little draw holding it against that wing towards this left flag. Plays downhill. It's looking a safe shot to me. Yeah, Karen, middle of that green is never a problem to any hole location. Jin Yang here at the 17th, the par three. The hole's cut in a bowl over on the left side. You can bank it off the side of the green like this. 
Oh, how about that? Yes. How about that bounce right yeah, there, Tom? Well, you that was almost in the bunk. Over at the 17th, Jin Yan. Yeah, good too. Because of that hole location, that bowl, Tom, playing under par today at the 17th hole. Here's NB at the 14th. This is the way you're supposed to play the hole. Drive it down the right center. That's a six iron. She kind of ballooned up on her and she pulled it a little. Oh, wind picking up quite a bit coming down this tunnel hurting in their face. NB Park for birdie at 14. Not wasting any time. And that speeds up the pace of play. Morgan, she is incredible when she just literally briefly looks at the line, steps up over it, and putts. Well, this one, Tom, is downhill. Should move a bit right. Oh, yes. A little body English to keep it on line. Never hurts. And Jennifer Cupcho to three under par. Yes, another eagle drops here at the par five, and that helps Michelle Weeb West get back to two over par. This hole is a little bit of a false front here. You can slope all the way back down off the green. Want to make sure you carry. Beautifully done there. That's a, a five iron. Now she's turned it over. Another Whirly Bird finish. Maybe it works. Oh, she might get away with that. Is that going to stay? Really good speed. Joe's third. It wasn't a bad place to leave it, so it was in a great lie. Yeah. And she should make birdie there. This will be X Factor fast. She said the greens weren't as fast as Olympic in that interview, but that one right there is off the charts fast. What a great putt. Just the right speed, and to one over goes Angel Yen. There's a slope there in the middle that'll kick the ball right to left. Hole located just a pace or two over this ridge. Yeah, now it feeds down. That's really good. Just thought they would run out a little more. At the 18th, Allison Lee. Third shot on the par five. It's quite a finish for Allison Lee, who doubled 14 to fall back to even par, but she eagled 15. Not sure what she has here. Going to play it in between the tree limbs there. Takes it way up in the air. All right. That was really well done. <laughs> I know. Feels like it's died down a little bit, at least in this corner of the golf course. Oh, class. Twenty nine putts. Remember all those putts we said she missed twenty nine. All right, we have a third shot for Jennifer Cupcho at 18. Well, she laid up into a really nice spot on the fairway to give herself this opportunity. Yeah. Making it dance. She's quit on a couple strokes here on this back nine, Karen. Oh. <laughs> Looked she, like she thought she missed that one. She had already given up. It's a bonus. Pure Silk Kingsmill Championship. She broke her back a few years ago during a practice round, just making a swing. Heard the crack in her back and then was in absolute agony. Tom, it really is just an incredibly inspiring story, the way she's been able to come back from that and, and win twice. Yeah. It's really incredible. Got a chance for a birdie there at the 17th. Good tee shot from Sawanapura, two behind.